My name is Jessica Visconti and I'm a licensed mental health counselor and expressive arts therapist and I just want to welcome you to the first series of videos that I'm going to be making with the Office of Student and Family Engagement for Bristol Community College. Um, there are going to be Zoom groups for all of these activities but we're also offering these videos as a way for students to engage in some art making and meditation and self-care outside of those times. So if you have something already then, you can do this on your own with this video. So I created this series of workshops um, to give students a place to take a break and connect with themselves and really tune in with their goals and strengths and connect with other students. The structure of these groups will mostly be the same. I'm going to start with a brief introduction every time, a uh, meditation or reflective um, period of time in the beginning, some art making, um, and that could include art or it could include something like writing or movement, um, where the expressive arts really includes all the different art forms. Um, and then we'll connect, if you're here as a group, there's some time at the end to connect and if you're doing it on your own, it's always a great idea to just take a couple minutes to reflect on anything that came up for you while you were either meditating or making art or just what was what was this like for you. So today's focus is going to be on positive affirmations um, and another way to say affirmation is um, just a short either word or saying that's going to help motivate you in times when it's really tough to get out of bed and do your schoolwork, especially as a commuter student in a pandemic, and just something to really bring yourself back to what you are hoping to achieve this semester and ultimately with your either certificate or degree or just by attending class. Um, so we're going to start with a short meditation from her name is Sh Shakti Gowen and it's from her book, The Four Levels of Healing. Um, and I think it's nice just to start with something reflective like this, just to tune in and kind of land, um, depending how your day was going or what happened before or what you have to do after. It's just a nice way to give yourself the space and know that this is just going to be time for you. So the name of the meditation that we're going to be doing today is called New Beliefs Meditation. Um, and if you ever do want to look it up, it is right on page 44 of the Four Levels of Healing. So just take a second to get comfortable. Um, everyone has different ways that they like to meditate. So for you, it could look like being in your bed, on the floor, in a chair, whatever is going to allow you to be comfortable and as present as you can be. Um, so if you are sitting, um, this particular meditation suggests trying to keep your back and your spine straight to help you breathe a little easier. Um, but if that's not comfortable or an option for you, it's really just whatever position is going to allow you to just breathe a little, a little easier and more intentional. Um, so you can either close your eyes or if that's not something you like to do or doesn't feel safe you can offer a soft gaze which is a fancy way of saying you know just kind of have your eyes down and not focusing on anything in particular <sighs> before you really get in your final stance of how you want to start just think about one of a new rule or belief or something you really want to encourage integrate and incorporate into your life that's going to help serve and motivate you. Now either close your eyes or have a soft gaze, take a deep breath, and as you exhale, relax your body. Take another deep breath, and as you exhale, relax your body a bit more. Keep taking a few deep breaths, and as you exhale each one, relax your body as deeply and completely as you can and let go of any tension that you might be holding.
allow your body to become relaxed. Keep breathing, and as you exhale each breath, relax your mind and let your thoughts go. As each new thought rises in your mind, let it go and allow your mind to slow down. Let your awareness move into a deep, quiet place inside and rest quietly in this space. And when you're ready, invite your mind to a new belief that you want to create for yourself. For example, when I trust and follow my intuition, my life unfolds exactly as it should. Say it to yourself slowly, firmly, and clearly. Repeat this new belief to yourself several times. Each time, Really think about it, feel it, and affirm that you can have this new belief effortlessly incorporated into your life. Imagine yourself as you would feel and behave with this new belief. How would your life be different if you operated by this new belief instead of an old one? You might get a mental picture of this, or you might sense it, or just think about it. Imagine this belief as if it's already true. It's not important whether or not you can clearly visualize anything about this new belief. Just the act of setting your intention is enough. When you're ready, once again, become aware of your body. Notice how your body is feeling right now. Notice what parts are very relaxed and what parts need to stretch because they have become somewhat stiff or sore. Before you open your eyes, if you've closed them, start to get a sense of your surroundings. Slowly open your eyes and come back fully present to the room. Once you are up and moving around, or just more in tune to your environment, take a piece of pen and paper and use your journal or blank paper to write down thoughts, images, feelings, or beliefs that occur during the meditation. This may not make sense to you right now and that's perfectly fine. Try your best not to evaluate these thoughts, feelings, or images, just note them. These notes may trigger ideas for you sometime in the near future when you reflect back on them. So after each meditation, um, the next invitation is to move into some art making, whatever that looks like for you. So um, some of those choices could be based on what you like to do and what materials you have. They could include writing, um, just any notes that came up during the meditation. It could include things like collage or drawing. Um, if you are naturally a mover, it could be something like just a movement. But for now, um, try to give yourself at least 20 minutes to just create. And again, bringing back to what we were talking about before the meditation, the focus is going to be on creating something that represents this positive affirmation for you and what you want to be a focus for you this semester to motivate you. So if you're not familiar with affirmations, um, it's usually something pretty short and simple. Um, a lot of them start with things like I am. So it could be I am strong, I am patient, I'm calm, I'm smart. Um, some other examples of affirmations could be I have power to change the world, I exude confidence. It's really completely up to you. Um, one that I like to use as a fallback is from a yogi that I like to follow, Abiola Akani, and she ends each of her videos with, I've done my best, I leave the rest. And I think that's going to be the one that I'm going to focus on for myself today. So now I'm going to get started. Um, I'm just going to use 
some of my scrapbook paper that I have. Um, and again, if you don't have any materials, that's fine. You can use things like just newspaper or magazines, or you can also just use your pen and paper. So the cool thing about expressive arts is it really puts the focus on the act of creating and how you kind of feel during that time, not so much on what it looks like at the end. Um, the goal of this is to hopefully create something that you connect with that you can um, either put on your fridge or your desk to remind you why you're in school, but if it is not something that ultimately you do connect with, you can always um, make something else or again, even the time today that you're using just to take space and just think about why you're in school and making these positive changes for yourself can honestly be really powerful in itself. So um, just try, <laughs> although it's easier said than done, not to overthink it and just roll with whatever is kind of coming to you. It might be nice to put on some of your favorite music or um, some white noise or some people like to work in silence um, so feel free to whatever is feeling supportive for you So my style tends to be leaning more on the abstract side of things, um, but that doesn't mean that that's necessarily going to be what works for you. So um, it can be, like I said, magazine cutouts. It could be something like, you know, a lighthouse or a sun to um, think about like change or, or guidance or moving in a new direction. Um, you can think about the colors that come up or the textures or like I said it could just be very literal and you'll see the words that came up when we when you thought about your affirmation and your goal. So it's really all about what feels right for you. Um, part of why I lean towards picking this particular scrap of paper was that I liked the colors in it in that they reminded me of a sunrise and um, just thinking about how each day is a new opportunity for change and to move forward and let go of what wasn't serving me on the previous day.